Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, XCOM War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Saving Your Disaster campaign Battle Strike Disaster where I am uh, yeah hopefully finishing it I think by going into the hunter's stronghold killing the hunter we're going to get a nice little sniper out of that and uh, the Dark Claw as well. Plus, we're going to take him off of the radar. I've also already prepared uh, the next mission, which could be theoretically going uh, for the facility. So I think are actually looking quite good. The only uh, downside so far is that we're not having enough uh, supplies, but that's a matter of just playing through the game. Everything else is researched. So we're taking a well-versed team with us. The standard four, another ranger, because uh, the shotgun is already upgraded, and our reaper, just to get uh, the little bit of scouting bonus. So let's see what we're going to do. And remember why you're here. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Thanks, Central. Energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind. Really appreciate that he always <coughs> hammers the point home and makes sure that we understand what our actual job is. Good, we're going to breach the door. I would assume that we are very likely going to find a couple of aliens right behind it. <coughs> so. Let's see. Okay, surprise, surprise, nothing triggered. That's indeed a surprise. Good, couple of enemies over there. Uh, doesn't worry me too much. I will be able to take them on next turn. For now, uh, we got a couple of more hidden rangers, so might as well move them in. Warlord does not have the phantom perk, so he's not hidden. And I think overall that is pretty much where we are. Oh, I forgot to use a proper sniper. Hmm. Yeah, that was a mistake. Could have changed the sniper. But we're fighting against normal troopers. Not sure why the enemies seem to be back by now. It's October, we should fight against much stronger enemies. Put it out. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, sure. I know where you are. Well, that did not work as intended. <clears throat> I didn't want to use teamwork that early in the game. Still implacable. Uh, do we have an explosive crate over there? Potentially not. No, it's just the beginning. I think what we are going to do is making this here full cover. And 
and then trying to get this guy down. Unbelievable. Out of range from the others. Can't close the door, no problem, which means they are able to move straight into our direction, but that's not a problem. At least I don't think it is. They have technical analysis, so all they can do is either overwatch or move in. Alright, long watch didn't work out. Should have given him a bit of a better weapon. Uh, what we can do indeed is school jack. But before we're doing that. Um Let's set a couple of uh, things straight, for starters. Sniper. Misses horrendously. If you say so. Moving up. Gosh, this is uh, not good. Since we don't have Mimic Beacons, we really need to get these guys down. I had to use cooldowns that early. Let's go. Kill ammo fast. But we'll get uh, the. We'll, do. we'll get uh, the captain in a second. will spawn that will spawn a, a codex my logic is the codex in itself with its bomb is less problematic than the captain just deals less damage Okay, so far just a few cooldowns that uh, were required. Yeah, sure. Not even going to give that the time of the day to be to be mad about uh, the obvious cheating here. Runs through the door, doesn't even know where we are, but runs through the door and decides to move right into the one spot. Get it <laughs> the one spot where we're standing. Sure. Sure. I can tell you something though, since you had been so nice in annoyingly moving into that spot I'll prevent you from from uh, your cloning ability and we will instead do a bit of a hack and slash here I don't need the grenade really might as well remove cover Coordinates. 
There we go. Well, not sure if it does, but uh, we have definitely continued the actual Golden Path storyline. I do not see which way the obvious right one is. This is definitely a new map tile here. Might as well explore it, it looks good. But for starters, uh, let's reload and take cover. Going back into the shadows. Good. Overwatch. Reload. You gotta use those reload times because oftentimes uh, one is forgetting about just how important uh, full ammunition is. I will go. The final chamber might be over there. We're going to find that out soon. In the mo uh, at the moment, we can simply stay here for now. It's another set of aliens on the left hand side. Okay, fair enough. I go where I'm needed. A patrol is up with time for hiding is over. Interesting. Um, we have target definition, which means we're going to see them even if they're out of uh, sight. They're going to be outlined. Will do. Moving up. And I think end of turn. Good. Not as eventful as one would have thought. We're still fighting against very basic enemies. I don't I don't know what broke, but something somehow broke. Uh, when the save game was transferred. Which is a shame because I would have definitely wanted to fight against stronger enemies. Alright, meltdown and positioning our sniper. Okay. Okay, I think that and getting our sniper to here. And that and getting our heavy to here. And we're just going to overwatch. Next turn we're breaching. Surprise, surprise. Good. We're starting with a solid remote start. That's a straight kill. Um, 
Then a protocol for one of the guys that are going in. Into shop that horribly misses. Into another shot. Oh boy, that is... XCOM is uh, showing how to be XCOM at its best, as in missing all of the shots. Luckily we got Rangers and upgraded shotguns, that alone is carrying Nice shot. This looks valuable. Okay, so I got one. Good. There is definitely another pack of aliens somewhere around, elsewise this would have already ended as a mission. Got it, moving. An Aram Core and a Superior Scope. Well, the latter one is great. That's exactly the type of weapon modification that we're looking for. That's a long run. Move, move, move. Good. End of turn. Let's see what we're dealing with uh, with the Chosen. He and the sarcophagus should actually be a really good challenge for us. Given that we do have mediocre weapons and uh, not very high level soldiers, this might be a bit of a stretch. But I wanted to end uh, this series with a really good fight. <clears throat> so. What are we going to deal with? Double hit point chosen. I remember my better strike run. 100 hit points enemies and just massive sarcophagi. The belly of the beast now, people. Proceed carefully. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. Very good, little humans. Come to me. Like a moth to a flame will you be consumed by my brilliance. It's always great how humble the warlock is. Reddit. That. Okay. Can't really trigger them right away. Uh, they will likely move either into us or we're triggering them next turn. Meldon was the only one who did not have death from above. That's should have chosen another one. All right, let's miss another ninety-four percent shot. Warlord, however, did have death from above. It's a bit of a weird cover. Against him it is cover, against this guy it is not. I 
appreciate a good death from above. And since I'm relatively sure that we're not going to use that grenade for anything else. Uh, I wonder. Should we just try to get his cover down? Ah, oh, the answer is potentially yes. Down to half cover. Running and gunning. And I wouldn't have needed to kill the cover. So good. Now the only thing that we need to do is not trigger <coughs> a big boss. El Chapo. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Ready to rock. But instead reload, regain cooldowns, and that should be really it. Ready to rock. Reloaded. I'll forfeit the loot because I am very much aware Moving out. that the loot would trigger him already. I don't want that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move actually over here and we'll keep high ground there. Um, but I need more than one person over there. And I would like to take the rangers into the middle. Hmm. Good question. So there are two ways of approaching it. We only have two cover spots here, which I think the sniper should take and maybe one of the rangers, maybe. Hmm. All right, we'll take a solo over here. Got it covered. Decision taken. And another death from above. Might as well help him over here, but then go into the middle field. I would want to keep this station and this station, which kind of pushes him over here, and I'll use uh, the other, the other ranger to then uh, push him away from there. What the chosen is going to try is always get a position where they can flank us, but um, equally are not flanked themselves. And what we're trying to do, of course, is try to remove all of his cover and make sure that he just doesn't have a great position to act with. Okay, I think we're pretty much set. Um... One way of opening is to just go here, because uh, even if we're hidden, Chosen will nonetheless spawn. All right. Oh, we're fighting against uh, the Warlock, not the Hunter. I was no today, sort of thinking about the, uh, the Hunter the entire time. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, zero abilities, really long nickname whole name a mixed case okay we're fighting against really long nickname damn something is really off and he only has two armor which is a bit weird as well if you say so. all right well let's okay, remove cover on. shall we and also shred him nicely There we go. Have you nothing better? It's clear. I will keep teamwork. We're just going to take normal shots here. You're 
Oh yeah, I dare strike you every day of the week. Whatever you say. We'll keep the thrown axe for a little bit later. Going to see whether or not this is going to be enough. I actually think we're on a really good track to get you down in two turns. You will suffer. Moving. Moves a little bit closer. <clears throat> I think we got the superior repeater here. <laughs> All right. Well, even if we do not kill, we hit. All right, not revealed yet. Technical analysis, of course, he goes for spectral army. <coughs> But that's a pretty meager spectral army, my dude. Somehow the force level seems to be stuck at almost nothing. Implacable and death from above. I love Rangers, such a good class. not as much of a fight as I thought he would have been. Slightly disappointing, I might add. The device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor, transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. On my way. Good. Let's get the sarcophagus down. Now is the right time to just use as much cooler, uh, as many cooldowns as we can, in anticipation of him walking here in the future. We're ju we're already play uh, placing that trap now, and we're continuing with the sarcophagus then. Good, move up. You can see the sarcophagus takes a while to chew through. Nope, we need to move closer. Okay, I'll go. Yep. Wow, we have yeah, well, uh, we're going to fight against him uh, one more time at least. So might as well just take the normal shot here. Just easy enemies, <clears throat> there won't be a problem. Hitting to that 
Moves up. Fabulous. One enemy over there. Not sure how we are going to deal with him. We're in a situation where we need to reload. Let's go. And let's go. That's a lot of damage. We're being flanked, which is not optimal. 50-50 on him. <coughs> I think what we're going to do is reload here and then just frost bomb him. Deal with him in the next turn. This is really an unfortunate cover position. Uh, I clicked the frost bomb by the way, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I clicked the frost bomb. damage short now yeah, we're going to take some damage in retaliation unfortunately uh, that I don't know what happened frost bomb did go off instead it was a normal explosion <laughs> At least my anticipation with the Claymore uh, just worked out nicely. Okay. All right, hate to do it, but this is the safest way of just eliminating this guy. One down, thousands to go. Let's do this. I go where I am needed. Moves up. Removes uh, all of his armor. What's over there? Nice little high ground advantage. Hitting and marking him. <clears throat> it's good. further nice little hit the shotguns are delivering which is so so well good we're taking cover we're overwatching and he's Trying to mind control us. Interesting. There's no two ways about it. We're definitely going to be mind controlled.
we have Bladestorm? Yes, we do. He would trigger Bladestorm, just in case he moves. Whatever you say. So even moving up into the open, not a problem. Nice little crit. This could trigger death from above and actually help us to finish this chapter. There we go. Mind control down. And all we now need to do is get the sarcophagus down. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the Chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Gremlin, Here. Just to top us off. And then we're continuing to damage the sarcophagus. We're okay. I'm not sure if we can fully make it this time. We're going to find out. Definitely good time for teamwork. I'm trusting you here. All right, moves over. And we're fighting against more spawns. Surprising number of captains, like I said, something needs to be inherently broken. Not that it would have changed the outcome here a lot. I think we're strong enough to take on the Warlock, even in, in his final form. Death from above, implacable reload, all good. We don't have the grenade anymore, do we? No, we don't. So no more cover removal. Target neutralized. Run and dry. Yeah, but we're fine. Even if it takes one more iteration, we should be good. That's the reason why I, I could have used demolition to remove that little bit of cover there, but I'd rather do a chain shot for substantial damage on the sarcophagus, even though the second one seemed to have missed. Yeah, we're two thirds there. It's a bit of the problem. It's a bit the problem of better strike. Shred. Mm, not good, okay. Well, we do have another grenade and we need to reload anyways. Might as well do that, plus shred him. You. 
Get shot. And now our positioning really pays off as we can start hitting it from all sides. It unfortunately doesn't seem to have a weakness, so that's a bit of a problem. Moving up, and he is teleporting himself. Interesting. We left the flag open. It, that will daze us. Okay. Is well, guess what? We have operatives nearby. Your days means nothing to us. Hmm. Yeah, he shows a good position there. I'll give him that. And he's immune to frost, uh, to the frost bomb. Okay, I'll go. Let's mark him. Closer to the actual sarcophagus. Everything that we're doing is in anticipation of needing to fight at the sarcophagus soon. Good hits, by the way. Fantastic hits. And I think we're just going to overwatch. I think we're just going to overwatch mainly because that could kill him outside of his turn. Well, in that case it does not, but that's okay. If we would have killed him outside of his turn, that would have been a real advantage for us because the timer wouldn't have started and we have more time to get down the sarcophagus. It's a little trick that you can use <coughs> in order to optimize the uptime on the sarcophagus. But killing him with the first shot in your turn is equally fine. I fear the chosen could continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. We're going to see whether or not that is going to be enough damage. Maybe we actually need to go through yet another turn. If everybody would deal as much damage as the shotguns, we would be absolutely golden, but unfortunately that's not the case. Yeah, we don't have enough hair triggers to, to really get this one down. Although we do have another round afterwards. What am I even saying? I misspoke. We have a good chance of getting that down. Alright, there are a lot of captains in his army. A lot of them. I can handle 
Good. Move up. Almost dead. I will reposition. But almost is not quite dead. You must keep me resupplied. But we don't want an, a full further turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the sarcophagus and really are getting it down. I think if everybody focuses it, we can actually make it pop. What's over there? That assumes that we're hitting the chain shot, of course. Almost there. And that's the sarcophagus finally down. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. Uh oh, lots of disorientation. I don't like that. Let's take the disorientation away from our ranger because we need to move in and kill this guy. There we go. That's my boy. Alright, listen. We're likely not going to hit you, but we can at least mark you. Good, fair enough. Running and gunning. There's a chance for an execute here. The Rangers are definitely carrying this with uh, their shotguns. a real good uh, option with um, our specialist here might as well just overwatch he's likely summoning something yeah When he loses, he blames it on others. And when he hits a lucky shot, he's like, yeah, I told you in advance. Almost sounds like the playbook of a politician right there. But you, sir, have overstayed your welcome. Almost. Give me time to reload. Why 
Well, it takes a lot of damage. The problem with better strike is nothing ever is quick. I hope it's worth it. Everything takes time. There will be no mercy for you. But I think he hasn't realized just how poor his position is. He would need to withdraw from there. Alright, close, but no cigar. Oh, we got a hair trigger for once. Well, maybe it was a cigar after all. Good job, guys. That uh, was uh, the Warlock. I stand corrected. I thought the entire time, for some reason, we were fighting the Hunter. So, that's a... That's at least a great assault rifle that we're getting. And we got a couple of promotions on top of it. I think overall the mission uh, went better than expected. Took, I think, damage once, which for better strike fight is really, really rare. Yeah, only two days, but we got a lot of promotions. So played some here. We're going, uh, going to get Implacable from the training facility. Quick draw. Death from above, uh, from the training facility. Commander, That's good. Thank our Disrupt the rifle, horse, superior, uh, superior scope. We'll begin work on it. New added. That's pretty damn good. Are a form of we've ever Much less we'll have to find a means of breaking the code. I expect it will take some time. Listen, income will come over time, right? If we're looking at the armory now, got the chosen weapons available. Yes, they are definitely tired, that's true. But there are plenty of other soldiers around as well. Wouldn't say it's the richest armory that I've ever played with, but it is definitely one that you can play around. A lot of captains, a lot of lieutenants, a lot of sergeants, so uh, that's really not too bad. We got a few bonded uh, characters. We got theoretically all of the tools available to um, continue here. We got all of the upgrades available. It's just a matter of time until, until these upgrades uh, will happen. Warden armor, for instance, would make a huge difference, but I think I would potentially even go for the uh, weapons first. <clears throat> Plasma rifles not uh, first, because we first and foremost need to... Uh, we, we do have the Warlock rifle for now. Potentially beam pistols and beam cannons. The cannons, I think, will make a huge difference. So that should satisfy just the need for damage. In terms, uh, in terms of research here, might as well change to the Warlock's uh, weapons. We can also... Yeah, we can also uh, soon build uh, the Shadow Chamber to progress the actual uh, main storyline. So. Things are looking fine in, in the overall campaign, and that is why I would call it a safe campaign. I'll send it back to the viewer uh, to double check if he is fine with it. And I hope you enjoyed that Saving Your Disaster campaign. The Better Strike disaster uh, is averted. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.